It's early morning in Mogadishu and fishermen in the Somali capital are bringing their catch into the harbor. Somalia's 3,300 kilometer coastline is the longest on the continent and gives the country's fishermen access to over 400 different species of fish in both the Indian Ocean in the east and the Gulf of Aden in the north. In the 1980s, the government of former President Siad Bare created fishing cooperatives and legislation to regulate and develop the sector as well as manage its fleet of five fishing trawlers operating in Kismayo and its other ports. But like most of the country's infrastructure and economy, the fishing industry was devastated during the civil war that followed Bare's ouster in 1991. Pirates took charge of many stretches of Somalia's coastline as the transitional federal government battled Al-Qaeda-linked group Al-Shabaab for control of the country. The African Union mission in Somalia, Amizom, was deployed in 2007 and has supported troops serving under Somalia's new government to force Al-Shabaab out of Mogadishu and most of central and southern Somalia. The relative peace in the capital Mogadishu has seen a boom at the city's main port. Mogadishu port has for long been the backbone of the Somali economy even during turbulent times and now that's back to its full operation only the sky may be the limit for the Somali population. <laughs> the busy Hamaruayin market in Mogadishu managed to stay open during decades of conflict and is now experiencing a boom due to the increased security. <laughs> The market and its growing number of customers provide a lifeline for fishermen, traders and even porters who hand carry the day's catch of kingfish, tuna, sailfish and sharks from the shore to the eagerly waiting fishmongers. <laughs> Somalia's new Minister of Natural Resources, Abdul Razak Omar Mohammed, told NBS TV that the industry's potential to bring in much needed revenue and create more jobs is largely untapped. Six years before the civil war, so that's when we have started to develop the fisheries sector. But we haven't completely utilized the, our capacity uh, in terms of uh, sec sector development. We, we, haven't, we haven't done that. At a small fish processing factory in the heart of Mogadishu, a private company has been demonstrating the economic possibilities of the industry for 20 years. The Somali National Fishing Company operates its own fleet and also buys from local fishermen and then prepares and packs the fish for export. Tiawa Satumba Abubakal, NBS Television.